Hi everyone. Tonight I thought I would make a magazine video. It's kind of a cold night and I've got a Virtue Scapes playing on the TV. It's a really nice website. Or YouTube channel <coughs> where you can um, the the videos change from day to night not all of them do but many of them do so this one was like a cozy cabin with a fireplace and a blizzard snow falling so this is an Entertainment Weekly from, I don't see the date, when is this from, November 2021, it's the fall movie <coughs> preview issue, and I got this from the Little Free Library, which is where I get most of my magazines, except for two two subscriptions so that of course is the gorgeous Kristen Stewart she's playing Princess Diana in a new biopic there's another picture gorgeous. So let's see what else we got. Sound bites. This month's sharpest lines. These little clips. <laughs> oh, here's a um, quote from Ted Lasso. Do you guys watch that? We we watched um, the first couple seasons. Pretty funny. Waiting for the next season. He says, "I like my water, like Kyrie Irving likes his earth, flat." Cold Open Conflict and Cost of Touring in a Pandemic. This looks like it's about touring um, musical groups, whether or not to go ahead and do their shows. drug commercials, drug advertisements. Oops. That a little bit. Harry Potter. Treasures. This is an <coughs> obstacle course game show appearing Sundays on the CW at 8 o'clock. I have not heard of that show. Impeachment American Crime. Story How Sarah Paulson, Beanie Feldstein, and writer, executive producer, producer Sarah Burgess 
recreated Linda Tripp's intense wiretap of Monica Lewinsky. Well, now that's going back in time. About the impeachment. I thought they were talking about another drug commercial. The Mod Squad. Anna Taylor Joy and Matt Smith serve scary good vintage glam as 1960s Londoners in Edgar Wright's time-hopping horror film Last Night in Soho. the boss in office space and, and he was in um, Veep. Veep was hysterical if you haven't seen it. He's been in a lot of things. This is a little interview about him. Or, yeah. up. This is about the band called Play. Secure on HBO. Wait, I don't know that show either. There's so many shows on so many networks and streaming services. It's hard to keep up. American Divorce. Laura Linney. It does not look like Laura Linney. Elizabeth Stratton. He's the head judge on Nailed It. Catch season six on Netflix. He shares his love for Da Vinci, smelly cheese, and chocolate. <laughs> this is a little questionnaire. What? Is the one food item you would bring to a desert island? He says, I've been making chocolate for the past 20 years, so I cannot live without it. I need chocolate. If you could have dinner with any three real people, who would they be? Number one, Leonardo, Leonardo da Vinci. He says, I'm obsessed with the guy. He's unbelievable and seems like such an amazing person. Um, what is your favorite music to cook or bake to? He says, I don't put on any music in the kitchen. I have to concentrate. In a food fight, who... What would you pick as your weapon of choice? He says, a pie with soft cream. I would mix pastry cream with whipped cream and I would make it stiff so that if I put it in someone's face, it wouldn't just poof, stay there. <laughs> These are kind of silly questions. Okay. Oh, Amelie. That movie K 
came out 20 years ago, it says. Why not try internet famous chef Andrew Rea's recipe inspired by the heroine's beloved creme brulee? Oh my goodness, two cups sugar, two vanilla beans, two cups heavy cream, six egg yolks, and raw sugar. That is insane recipe. Wow. And here, finally, is the fall movie preview. So, um, most of these movies, well, some of them would have been in the uh, Academy search we had a couple of weeks ago. That's Kristen Stewart. Okay. This is a feature article on her. And the new um, biopic about uh, Princess Diana. So this is how she's done the hair and the makeup and things to look a little bit like her. I don't know. I think her eyes look like her, but not so much the rest. Did you guys watch I guess I'm showing how old I am because I remember the wedding, Princess Diana's wedding. She had this gorgeous uh, the wedding dress was like whipped cream. I mean, it was just this puffy. Beautiful ruffles, and it wasn't like all kind of straight laced, lacy, like I thought Kate Middleton's was kind of, I don't know. I just like this one so much better. Anyway, I remember getting up um, early in the morning because it was on TV at like our time on the West Coast back then was maybe like 5, 4, 5 or 6 a.m. or something like that. And uh, we got up to watch <laughs> the wedding. It was a huge deal at the time. Like, I don't follow that much royalty stuff like some people do. But that particular event was pretty big at the time. If you saw it and you remember something, I'd love to hear in the comments if you got if you watched it too, what you thought. Okay, do did you guys see that? I did not. Not a big sci-fi fan in general. I, I did not read it either. I, I think I tried once, but I only got didn't get very far. But I know it's a hugely popular book. I just can't get into sci-fi. Let's see. 
last night in Soho. Oh, she's the one. I just recognized her. Uh, did you guys see um, the Queen's Gambit? That was really good. She was in that. She's pretty amazing. It says it's a psychological thriller. The French Dispatch. This is a Wes Anderson movie. And I don't know what this is. It's a character map. time lovers in Marvel's latest tentpole Eternals. Hmm. He's kind of handsome. I would say. Seems like she's taller than him, but she's got like four or five inch heels on. Marvel movies. They're making so many superhero movies these days. Meet the Eternals, your guide to Marvel's ageless new super super team. Oh, here's the Ghostbusters Afterlife. Fun size marshmallow men run amok in a sequel to the 1984 comedy classic. VFX producer Carrie Joseph reveals how they cooked up this sweet treat. I wonder if when did that come out already? I think my brother saw it. We've hardly seen any movies like in the past couple of years, just with a few on Netflix, a few on TV, but King Richard, Will Smith gets grilled by the actresses who play Venus and Serena Williams in his tennis family biopic. Of course, he, that won a bunch of awards. Well, he won the award famously. <laughs> you probably know what happened at the award ceremony because it got a lot of press around the world, that's for sure. I didn't see the movie. It's supposed to be good. House of Gucci. Now that's one I might actually want to see. Because I like shows dealing with the fashion industry. I love Project Runway. Love, love, love that show. After raiding Lady Gaga's personal closet, Oscar winning costumer Janty Yates reveals how she created the killer looks in Ridley Scott's murder drama. I didn't know it was a murder drama. Hmm. Tick, tick, boom. Lin-Manuel Miranda directs a musical from and about 
one of his proudest inspirations. I usually enjoy him. So maybe I'll go see. Well, we'll probably end up watching it on Netflix if it comes around. Harder They Fall. This is an action packed western. Jonathan Majors leads a killer ensemble of gunslinging outlaws. A stylish, action packed western. Not a big western. <laughs> Red Notice. What is this? Action film. It's kind of matrixy. I don't know what's going on there. December, the Matrix Resurrections. Now that I did see, believe it or not, although I fell asleep through about the f first, the middle third, <laughs> the middle section anyway. It got kind of confusing, but um, it's kind of cool to see. I love the first Matrix movie. And Keanu Reeves I just like him a lot. Um, I would watch pretty much anything he was in, I think. He's a really good actor. Down the rabbit hole. It's a little refresher on the Matrix. <laughs> There's the original Matrix, 1999. The Matrix Reloaded, 2003. And then Matrix Revolutions, 2003. Mm -hmm. No, they came out the same year. Interesting. West Side Story. That's, that's one of my favorite musicals ever. The music is just fantastic. I don't think I'll see this though. It's kind of emotional for me. Um, I saw the play in person a couple different times and the last time I saw it with my mom. So I just don't think I can see it. Spider-Man. No Way Home. I wonder if this is the same, um, the same guy who played Spider-Man. I can't think of his name. Directed by starring Tom Holland, Zendaya, Benedict Cumberbatch. So it's not Toby, whatever it's Toby McGuire, I think. Was uh, the earlier one. More superhero movies. Sir Haley Bennett of Cyrano. Parallel Mothers, Candy Colored Drama, Power 
have the dog that I think um, got some Academy nominations. Journal for Jordan. Don't look up. Director Adam McKay briefs us on a fractious meeting between Leonardo DiCaprio and Jennifer Lawrence, scientists, and Meryl Streep's as president. Oh, I actually did see this on TV. They're play astronomers trying to warn the world about a comet capable of destroying humanity. The film was directly spawned from these insane times, says writer-director Adam McKay. Early on, DiCaprio's Dr. Randall Mindy and Lawrence's Kate DiBiaschi detailed the threat in an Oval Office meeting with Meryl Streep's unimpressed President Janie Orlean and her blasé son, Chief of Staff, Jason, played by Jonah Hill. This was in the middle of the pandemic, says McKay. I don't know if I've ever treasured laughter more. Also playing, oh my goodness. How did they make all these movies during the pandemic? I do not understand that. So many movies I never even heard of. Ron's Gone Wrong. Antlers. Carrie Russell. I like her. Army of Thieves. Finch. The Humans. Resident Evil. Licorice Pizza. I did hear about that one. It stars Cooper Hoffman. Alana Hain, Bradley Cooper. The rumor mill says that it's set in Anderson's native San Fernando Valley in the 1970s. I don't know what it's about. Wolf, The Unforgivable, The Hand of God, Nightmare Alley, Swan Song, the King's Man, Jockey, gives audiences an inside look at the world of horse racing. Being the Ricardos, oh that's Orion Sorkin. Behind the scenes look at the classic Lucia Ball and Desi Arnaz in their off-screen marriage and on-screen career. He, Aaron Sorkin is so talented as a writer. My gosh. He did West Wing, which I think is probably the best show. One, Definitely one of the best shows ever on TV. And he did Sports Night, which is great. Um, yeah, I wish he would do even more. Wesley Snipes profile. Wives Gone Wild. After 15 years on the air, Bravo's signature franchise enters a new era. Pack your bags for a fabulous chat with the seven all-stars of the Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip. <laughs> that is something else. I've never watched a Real Housewives show, I don't think. Maybe for a couple of minutes. Here's 
here's a book, The Ultimate Guide to Harry Potter. Haley Steinfeld hits her mark. The Dickinson actress is on target to be one of Marvel's next big stars. That is Haley Steinfeld. Here is a profile of her. good it's on Apple TV which you have to pay for but we got a promotional thing I think like three months free or something like that so we're watching that Jennifer Aniston of course is great and so is um, <laughs> blanked out on her name Reese Witherspoon, of course, Reese Witherspoon. L Juliana Margulies is in the second season. Steve Carell. Billy Crudup is a really interesting character. French Dispatch. Your guy to November's Essential Viewing. So this is just sort of what's on TV. Series debuts, season premieres. Mm. A lot of season premieres in November. Santana still Making music, that's great. There's a little section on books, fiction reviews. Here's some plays. Bullseye murder. Oh, here's a little fashion page, I guess. And here is their last page, which is hmm. That's just a little essay. There's no right version of wrong history. The harder they fall, writer director Jamie Samuel loves westerns but notes how the genre's history is marred by acts of deliberate omission. And there's some advertisements. Advertisement for the Jimmy Fallon on the back. 